Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a TikTok video on how to record better quality voiceovers and it's super duper easy, you don't even have to buy anything and this is an awesome tip for pretty much any YouTuber whether you're really small or really popular. So a lot of people use voiceovers for DIYs or pretty much any video just because it's really easy, you don't have to record sound while you're doing your video and a lot of times if you're using some sort of computer and just talking from right in front of the computer, you're going to pick up outside noises such as things going on in your room, your roommates, your mother, your father, whatever, or even sometimes I pick up like cars outside. Like how ridiculous is that? That's like so many feet away but my computer picks it up and it's kind of annoying and the quality is a little bit subpar. So how to get better quality is really easy. All you're going to need is some sort of microphone or excuse me, some sort of um, earphones with a microphone attachment. So I personally have these Beats which I purchased for use in the library when I'm studying, but that's beside the point. But you can use pretty much any headphones that have a microphone attachment or if you don't have one instead of like buying like the blue snowball or something that's like a professional quality that's like hundreds of dollars you guys can just go to like Walmart or Target or even like Marshalls and pick up a pair of headphones for like seven bucks that have a microphone attachment um, so all you're going to need is your computer and I'm using my iMac but this works on MacBooks or any kind of computer that has the ability to plug in headphones which should be pretty much any um, computer but um, if you're using beats you can actually uh, detach the headphones so you're not like holding these and just use the cord that comes with and if you're going to be using that make sure you put the one that's curved inside of your computer because that's the right one and I'm just going to apply that onto my iMac okay and then what you can do if, if you are using Final Cut Pro you can go ahead and put your cursor where you want to do your voiceover, which I already did some of it. And then I'm going to go to Window and Record Voiceover. And just to show you guys that this works, if you guys can see, this is the monitor for the voiceover. And if I get really close, it's going to go really, really high. And if I get far away, it's still pretty low since it's picking it up through this device. So just a quick tip is you don't want this too close to your mouth um, because you're going to like literally blow people's ears out. But um, what I like to do is kind of wrap it like this, or you could like wrap it around something that you could hold a little bit easier. And you want to make sure the microphone like hole is towards you. That sounds weird. Anyway. And you guys can check. You want it to be kind of like in the middle here once um, you know you start the voiceover. So if you guys can see, if I get really close, you want it to be about in the middle or a little bit lower. If it's too close, you're gonna hear like pop, pop, pop throughout your clip, and that's not the best in my personal opinion. Okay, so here we go. You want to click the record button and we're going to start doing this. And if I mess up, I mess up like all the time. I need to film voiceovers like five times. So anyways, here we go. So then what we're going to do is we are going to wipe down your computer and this just makes the contact paper stick a little bit better so it's not going to peel off like the next day. So just wipe it down. I used awesome like 15 times. Life of a YouTuber. Anyway, so that's pretty much how you can get really good quality over voiceover. So let me just play um, it for you guys. You guys can tell and I get to see how good I did. Um, you'll be able to see that it's a lot better quality. So then what we're going to do is we are going to wipe down your computer and this just makes the contact paper stick a little bit better so it's not going to peel off like the next day. So just wipe it down um, and make sure everything's nice and clean. Then, so you can tell that the quality of the sound is like a lot better as if, as compared to if I were just talking through the air to my computer. So I hope you guys found this Tech Talk video helpful. If you guys have any other tips or if you guys want to learn how to do something a little bit better, let me know down below and I'll do my best to get that video out for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!